This is Hayes Q. Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, welcome back. I appreciate you guys. Come on in, make yourself at home. This week, if you notice, I'm out in the field right now. My bike caught a flat the front tire. So I had to improvise. I'm running hills today. Before I get into what I picked up this week, let me share with you some of the movies I've been watching, television shows, either physical media or streaming. The first one is a movie I picked up at Dollar Tree, Eloise. This is a 2016 horror mystery thriller uh, starring Eliza Dushku and Chance Crawford. Four friends break into an abandoned insane asylum in search of a death certificate, which will grant one of them a large inheritance. However, finding it soon has become the least of their worries in, place haunted, in a place haunted by dark memories. Very fun movie. It's not going to scare your pants off, but it was entertaining and it was good seeing Eliza do school again. So if you can find this at your local Dollar Tree, it's definitely worth the, worth the watch for a dollar pick for the week is another horror mystery thriller this is a 2017 picture called truth and dare I actually picked this up in Dollar Tree also eight college friends head to a haunted rental in a remote town for Halloween weekend there they play the game rumored to have caused the death of seven teenagers decades earlier truth and dare what starts out as a vodka induced fun quickly turns into serious when the dares become sickeningly dangerous and truth threatens to tear the group apart another fun picture along the same lines of probably saw or escape room that type of it's horror but I don't want to call it slasher is more more like torture horror that kind of thing but again a very good watch for a dollar at Dollar Tree truth or dare physical media pick is another Dollar Tree pick. This is a 2018 horror thriller, St. Agatha. St. Agatha is set in the 1950s in a small town in Georgia. A pregnant woman is on the run and seeks refuge in a convent hidden in deafening isolation. What first starts, as, what first starts out as the perfect place to have a child turns into a dark, dark lair where silence is forced. There's nuns in this pictures, and all I can say about these nuns, these crazy ass bitches. Fun movie, very twisted, definitely worth a watch. If you like twisted, crazy ass nuns, I think you'll like the same Agatha. My last pick is actually a television story or a television show. My wife and I just started this past weekend. It's the ninth season of American Horror Story. This season actually take place, takes place in the past in 1984. And I'm reading something online that I guess is heavily influenced by Friday the, Friday the 13th. It has that camp slasher feel. I think the thing that probably motivated me to watch the ninth season is that they have a 10th season and this 10th season is dealing with aliens and stuff like that. I love UFO and paranormal you alien stuff. So before I actually watch the most recent season, I have to go back and watch the ninth season that I haven't watched. So far, relatively interesting. I think we're into the second or third episode of season nine of American Horror Story. If you get the opportunity, you can check that out on Hulu. Now, without any further ado, sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this video while I finish these, these hills and uh, call it a day.
I picked up a few more movies that I anticipated, but they asked for really good Blu-ray, so let me hit a couple more spots, then we'll go back to the Black Cave and see what I picked up. They actually pulled one movie out of there. It was actually a Blu-ray I was looking for. Only one buck. Didn't get back, just got it, got out of there. Going to hit one more spot, then we're gonna call it a day. I have not been to this particular value pond on Highway 60. Probably good, maybe a couple months. Last time I was in here, I think they might have had 10 movies. So we'll see if they've uh, had any additions. Amazon and eBay, and this is what I picked up at Cash America and Value Pawn. So let me get these out the wrappers and get them scanned in. And we'll get into these and get you guys on your way. Going to start it off with what I picked up at Value Pawn for just one dollar. Max Steel, starring Ben Winchell, We've got Anna Bella Agne, Maria Bello. And Andy Garcia. I saw this, well, the family and I watched this a long time ago. It was just okay. I think it was supposed to be kind of a, a blockbuster and kind of uh, fizzled out, more of a dud. But for a buck, I'll definitely watch it again. And definitely pick it up and add it to my collection. And this is a universal release that comes with the DVD and the Blu ray. And a very nice slipcover with the embossed print Max Steel. Now, for let's make sure the personal information is on here. Normally, well, I can't say normally, at this particular pawn shop, depending on who's at the counter, sometimes they'll give me. They'll, they'll charge me a buck for a DVD or Blu-ray. I don't know if he's intentionally or not. Or if it's someone else at the register, they'll charge me three for 10. There's someone else at the register, so they charge me three for 10 today. Still a buck for the DVDs. Still not a bad deal. It averages out as far as the Blu-rays. I think 350 a Blu-ray. But this is the Aristocat, Aristocrats. 100 comedians, one very dirty joke. It looks interesting. The old blockbuster video. It's a Lionsgate release. A few com uh, comedians on there that I'm familiar with. Uh, George Carlin, huge George Carlin fan. Um, Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, I know most of them. I can't say I'm huge fans of them, though, though, but for a buck, I'll pick it up and check it out sometime. Got the old blockbuster case, which I, I might keep. The Aristocrats. This I actually saw someone's Dollar Tree video on a Blu-ray. I looked at some Blu-ray also, but 
I saw it at the pawn shop and picked it up for a dollar. Jennifer Anderson, Yasmin Bay, AKA Most Deaf, Isla Fisher, Will Forte, Mark Boone Jr. with Tim Robbins and John Hawks. Looks like a, what is a comedy? A kidnap comedy. So, in the stream, plus I, fan of most stuff, I like him as a rapper, and he is a very interesting actor. Um, trying to think the movie that he was in with Bruce Willis, like 13 Blocks or something like that. And he also did another one where he was Delivery Man. So, interesting movie, looking forward to watching this, Life of Crime. Next, we'll get into some of the Blu-rays. I have this on DVD, upgrading to a Blu-ray. When the Game Stands Tall, Jim Cavazell, uh, Michael Chiklis from The Shield, Alexander Ludwig, and Laura Dern. One of those football playing, hype football movies, which I really like if I'm in the mood to watch those. And it's based on a true story. This is a Sony release. I haven't looked through the disc, but well, I do look through the disc to make sure they're okay. I don't know if it's Sony, they just have the regular plain disc. Oh no, I was wrong. They have the plain DVD, but they did some artwork to the Blu-ray. Very nice. And let's see if the code works here. When the game stands still. Let's see what else here. This one. This is not actually a two-movie collection. It's just a one movie. I guess uh, it came with the Suicide Squad code, I guess. But the movie that it did come with is Batman Assault on Arkham. And I've acquired quite a few of these, quite a few of these DC comic cartoon Batman movies, but I haven't watched any of them yet though. Comes with a very nice slip cover. Warner Brothers DC. Batman Assault on Arkham. Next, I have Ouija Origin of Evil. I have so many Ouija movies, I have to make sure I didn't have this one. I think half of the Ouija movies, if not most of them, I acquired at. Dollar Tree. This is a universal release. So I'll probably do another Ouija marathon, maybe during the holiday season, holiday season, which is right around the corner. Again, Ouija, Origin of Evil, universal release. Next, I believe I have the DVD of this, but I haven't seen this. Lady Jennifer Garner, not necessarily a big fan of Matthew McConaughey. I can tolerate his movies, but I do like Jennifer Garner. Uh, I actually started liking her when she was doing a television show called Alias, which I wonder if, if they'll ever get a Blu-ray release. So this is a New Line Cinema release. And this looks like a romantic comedy. Ghost of Girlfriend's Past. New line cinema release. Next we have Catherine Zeta Jones, and I'm not familiar with Justin Bartha. The rebound, she's still got it, he's just getting it. And it looks like another romantic comedy, Fox release. And it's a blind buy. Rebound. Next, I actually already had this movie, but I bought it from the pawn shop and the slip cover was just torn to shreds. I think I had to eventually just throw it away because it, it was so horrible. So basically I got this for the slip cover and the artwork. The Blood Father, pretty decent movie. Mel Gibson, pretty decent action movie. I don't want to give too much away, so I'll, it's, it's an action movie and it's along the line of Mel Gibson, one of his moderate to better action movies. Mel Gibson, Blood Father. Next, 
Next, I had Bat Moms, I think Bat Moms Christmas or something like that, but I didn't have the actual Bat Mom, so I haven't seen either one. Again, get some opportunity. Fortunately, I have more movies in time because I would just love just to spend weeks and months just watching nothing but movies all day, but that will come one day in my life, hopefully soon. Uh, Christina Applegate, Up Made With Children, Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith's wife, um, Kristen Bell, Mila Kunis, Ashton Kutcher's wife, and I was familiar with Katherine Hahn and Anna Momulo. <clears throat> uh, comedy. If I can get this out. There we go. This is a universal release. And I, I really picked up at this last uh, Cash America. I'm assuming someone just dropped a bunch of movies off. Bad Moms. And you get a nice slip cover. Next, let's see. I've actually seen the streaming. Very cool movie. Very fast paced. It's, it's shot from the perspective of like a video game, a first person video game. So you're actually seeing what the protagonist is saying so very different unique movie i enjoyed it don't necessarily remember the ending i'll probably watch it again well i know i watched it again that's why i got it <clears throat> nice slip cover uh embossed printing on the slip cover the actual slip cover universal release stx just comes with the Blu-ray, which I'm cool with. Hardcore Henry. Next, I think I've seen the first album. I didn't know there was a, a trilogy, so I, for all I know, there could be 10 album movies, though, but I have three of them. So hopefully that's the extent. I don't know if they have any more. Alvin and the Chipmunks, Road Chip. Just fun movies. Who does this? 20th Century Fox. And I can't think of the guy who stars or the star of the movie with the CGI chipmunks. His name. Can't really think of it right now. Let's see if it says somewhere in here. Jason Lee. Yeah, I think Jason Lee's in all, all three of the Alvin Chipmunks movies, which I usually usually like. We're going to do a sequel trilogy. I like to have the same characters in there if possible. So Alvin and the Chipmunks Road Chip. 20th Century Fox release. Next we have 13th Hours. This is a movie based on the Benghazi incident and it just gives a perspective of what could have what possibly could have happened I don't believe anyone really knows because I don't believe there were any survivors <clears throat> which gives a rendition of what happened in Benghazi I'm not big into military movies but very good movie very suspenseful decent amount of action a tense action thriller that, that, that active describes this movie so Get a chance to uh, see this, especially if you like uh, military type movies, 13 hours, pretty decent. And this comes from a person that doesn't really care for those type of movies. And this is a Paramount release. Come from my slipcover. Da da, da da, da da. 13 hours. Next, we have Vanished. Left Behind Next Generation. So I'm assuming this is a sequel to Left Behind. And if you're not familiar with Left Behind, that deals with the, what's the word I'm thinking of? When God calls everyone up. Let me think of the word, hold on. The word that was on the tip of my tongue that I couldn't figure out is the rapture. <clears throat> this deals with the, well, I'm assuming this is a sequel to Left Behind to the people who are remaining from the rapture that were not 
sucked up into heaven. So, really interested in those type of sci-fi, apocalyptic slash religious type movies. So this might be pretty interesting. Vanished, Left Behind, Next Generation. And not really familiar with any of the stars, even though he looks somewhat familiar. And this is Echo Light, an Echo Light release. Echo Light Studios. Oh, must be a low budget studio. Vanished. Next, I have a Anchor Bay release. Army of One with Nicolas Cage and Russell Brand. Not a big fan of Russell Brand, but I love Nicolas Cage. Never even heard of this movie. Looks very interesting just for the mere fact it's Nicolas Cage and Russell Brand. So I'm assuming there's a certain amount of comedy in there. Nice artwork on the Blu-ray. And again, this is an Anchor Bay release with a very nice slipcover Army of One. And my last purchase at, at uh, Cash America is Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This is a Disney release. Very nice slipcover. Embossed printing. And you have the Blu-ray and the DVD. And these are my pickups from the pawn shop and give me a second and I'll show you what I picked up from, from eBay and Amazon. These next four are Mill Creek's retro slipcover 80s movies. Blind Fury with the late Rutger Hauer. Great movie, great 80s movie, very cheesy. Basically, he's a blind guy kind of a blind vigilante with a sword. A little over the top, very fun movie. And I vaguely remember this from the 80s. Mill Creek, Mill Creek release, Blind Fury with the late Rucker Howard with a very fly ass slip cover. Gives you the old VHS look. Next movie I haven't watched in a long time, the late Marlon Brando. Matthew Broderick and the Freshman. Matthew Broderick is a, fresh, a freshman entering college, and I forget his relationship with Marlon Brando, but basically Marlon Brando is kind of playing a, a godfather type role, but this is actually a comedy film. Nice slipcover. Mill Creek. He's that 80s VHS look. back. That's the artwork. And very, for lack of a better, very cheeky movie, very fun movie, The Freshman. Another fun movie, not a great movie though, Sylvester Stallone and the late Estelle Getty and Stop or My Mom Will Shoot You. And this is action comedy, romantic comedy. That's the slip cover. And the disc. Well, the artwork. And the disc. And I have to give Mill Creek props there. Killing it with the slip cover game and the retro retro 80 slip cover game. Love them. And lastly, for my retro 80 slipcovers, we have Dudley Moore, Kirk Cameron, and Like Father, Like Son. Kirk Cameron of the uh, what that show with uh, Alan Thicke. Can't think of the name, but then he got really religious and got really weird, started making Left Behind movies, which is kind of a, a segue to the last movie, Vanish, I'll just talk about. But this is the rather common trope of where the parent turns into the child and the child turns into the parent. I believe the first movie I saw about that was Freaky Friday and I think that was Haley Mills and Jodie Foster maybe? 
not positive though, but they've done that uh, a dozen times, vice versa, 30, uh, 30 going on 30, 13 going on 30. So it's been done quite a few times. Like five, like son, Dudley Moore, Kirk Cameron, like father, like son, and the nice artwork on the disc. And hold on, let me show you, while I have these out, let me show you my other retro 80s slipcovers. Hold on. My 80s retro slipcovers, Steve Martin, Roxanne, John Belushi, Don Aykroyd, and Neighbors. New Kids, Danny Carvey, Opportunity Knox, Excess Baggage, Alicia, Alicia Silverstone, and ben, a young Benicio Del Toro. Paul, Paul A. Shore, Jury Duty. John Candy, Who's Harry Crumb, another fun 80s movie. Blake John Candy. Haven't watched this one yet. I believe I got this one at Walmart. Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, Sarah Jessica Parker, Sarah Jessica Parker and Helen Hunt. Before she hit the wall. Oof, I shouldn't have said that. And a young Bill Murray. And I think this is the only one that is not. No, these two. This is RLJE. And this one is Lionsgate. But they still gave you the retro 80s slipcover. So these are my current slipcovers. I'm going to add these to the collection. And let me get into the 3D movies and I'll let you guys go. Next, we have American Warship. The reason why I have two here, I actually purchased this by accident. I thought this was a 3D copy. When I got it, I was like, okay, it's not my mistake. It's my mistake, so it wasn't the reseller's mistake, so I'll just bite the bullet on this one. This is Mario Van Peoples and Apollo Creed, Carl Weathers. This is an Asylum action film so you know it's low budget American Warship you have the back art we have the uh, just the reverse art same thing then you have the 3D version but then you have any artwork on the back so, 3D version and the regular Blu-ray version American Warships Mario Van Peoples and Carl Weathers Next we have Alone in the Dark 2. And this is a sequel to Alone in the Dark with Christian Slater. However, it does not have any of the original actors or actresses to my to my knowledge, but it does have Danny Trejo, which I don't remember. I definitely have to watch this again. Uh, I think I fell asleep under the first time. Bill Mosley. Oh, okay, I'm definitely gonna watch this again. Alone in the Dark 2 sequel in 3D and that's just the same as the first side I have VHS I have the day give it a dollar tree I have this I haven't seen stolen uh, I have Iron Sky just watched that very good movie it was surprisingly very good movie Alone in the Dark 2 and 3D. Next, we have Nicolas Cage and Hayden Christensen of the Star Wars series, Outcast. Seen, I've seen the trailers of this and it looks pretty decent. And who is the, I don't know who the distributors are of these imports are. Splendid, Splendid Film. And 
universal film, I guess, of the distributor for these. It's hard to tell with these imports, but Outcast 3D. And this is a, a medieval action film, I'm sure with his Nicolas Cage little personal touch to it. And lastly, yeah, I know everyone probably already has this, but I'm a ball on the budget, so I'm not trying to pay full price for this, especially since I already saw it on HBO Max. Decent movie, but having watched it in 3D. Matter of fact, I did see a couple scenes in 3D. Uh, the truck scene chase where she kind of flies on high and kind of falls down on the truck or in between the truck. So but looks fantastic in 3D. You have the 3D disc right here and just the regular blue disc, Blu-ray disc here. And you have the code. So this is my DVD Blu-ray pickup for the week. You know the routine. Let me get these things prepared to put away. I'll let you guys be on your way. Hold on. I have everything scanned and to my C L Z movies app. This is in Charlie, L's in Larry, Z's in Zebra. We have everything laid out, ready to be put back in its proper place. As usual, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, talking movies, looking at movies. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please like, share, subscribe. Hit, hit that notification bell. I drop a video every Wednesday at 6.30. If nothing else, give me the big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. Other than that, be the best of your past. Be the worst of your future. Everyone be safe. Peace.